Hello, good morning. Welcome to Vlogsember. Today is day 20. This video is going to be up a little bit later than usual um, because I was waiting for a special box, a special order that I made. But before we do that, let's get ready. I do have my glasses on. I'm not going to put on my contacts today. And I was a little bit afraid that because they're transition glasses that the light was going to make my lens a little bit darker and I they did a little bit darker and you can still see the ring line it's actually bigger now <laughs> but you know it is what it is I'm gonna get ready real quick I'm going to apply just a couple of things to give some color to this face of mine and for that we're gonna start with the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen I thought it was tinted foundation it's tinted sunscreen but I use it as foundation it's really really lovely Mine is in the shade Fairfax and the first thing I like to do is put some in the back of my hand just like um kind of like a dime size of a dime it's really nice this tinted sunscreen is so beautiful it has like a really nice coverage light coverage and it gives me a beautiful glow I love I love this sunscreen this tinted sunscreen and I'm going to be using a a new it's not really a concealer it's like a brightener so I'm going to put concealer first and or maybe I should test the brightener I'm going to do, I'm going to test just the brightener and see how it looks just by itself and I also want to try a new mascara the one I got in that PR box from Lawless I want to try it. I'm curious to try that mascara I'm just gonna apply a little bit today I'm not too heavy I am gonna go to work and I do want to show you what I ordered so but I want to be presentable so a little bit of makeup helps I'm gonna get another one another backup when maybe on the next Sephora sale if I don't if I don't use it up before then because if I use it up before then then I'm gonna, just gonna buy it so the concealer or the brightener that I want to use today is from Rare Beauty it's brand new the positive light positive light and I got the shade light I was reading the French side and I could read it to you but it's a positive light under eye brightener it's a weightless brightening liquid formula that illuminates and refreshes the under eye area with a natural luminous finish it is 0.30 fluid ounce 4.0 milliliters um, and where is the expiration oh it's 12 months shelf life and it's made in Italy and I already used it I used it last night so it's not really a first impression but it is the first time I use it on the video I like the packaging it's like it's plastic but it looks really I don't know it looks looks nice what I think is weird weird and not not a bad way just weird is the applicator it's not really a doe foot applicator it's like a metal I think my, I haven't read or seen any reviews or any videos about it but my impression is that they're trying like, to like minimize like to be more hygienic because with a doe foot like I don't mind I don't criticize it because I love doe foot applicators but because it's a spongy maybe you know you're you accumulate more bacteria or something I don't know maybe that's what you're doing or maybe they're doing it because because it's metal it refreshes your eye area I really don't know but I think it's very curious and it's the first time that I remember at least that I remember that I see an applicator like this so it's it's innovative I guess it's different and it doesn't dry up really fast so you could put it on both eyes on both sides and it won't like dry up on you so it's really refreshing I think maybe that's why because that cold metal and then you apply it on your eye area on the under eye area and it really like refreshes and oh, what's that word I'm trying to use it I almost got it wait wait like um, it reduces your inflammation so I think that might be why or both maybe it's all, both reasons are valid if you guys know why it's made like that let me know in the comments below I'm really curious I'm gonna do my research after I'm done here I should have done it before but but I think that's a really good guess it is it does feel cold like really nice and it doesn't really it's not really a concealer like it doesn't have that full coverage but I think it's really beautiful and the color I think it looks well and it does brighten on my eye area which is the point of the other product and it's really creamy like it really melts into your skin I like it it's different and then my under eye area the camera probably won't pick it up but it has like um a soft dewy glow kind of look 
because I do have dry skin. I have dry skin under under my you know my my face, most of my face, but then my lids a little bit oily, and sometimes my nose here gets a little bit oily. So I'm kind of like a combination skin, but mostly dry. So it's nice that I get that soft glow in the bottom, but it doesn't crease because I used it yesterday last night, and it didn't crease. All right, the next thing I want to try on, I am going to apply some blush. I'm going to use the Patrick Ta Double Take Cram and Powder Blush in the shade Do We Know Her. For this, I'm going to use the... Oops, I almost dropped it. Let me show you what it looks I'm going to use the uh, cream part. I think I used a powder the other day. I'm going to use the cream today. I don't remember which one I used, but I'm going to use the cream today. And I'm going to use the Sonia G Jumbo Base, like I always do. To apply blush the jumbo base right yeah jumbo base i love this blush this brush for this because i like the shape and it's like spongy and then i remember oh i remember that one of them was really pigment whichever one i use was really pigmented so i'm just gonna go slow i thought i'm doing the rare beauty today but um i thought let's just switch it up and just use something else today because i do love the rare beauty the highlighter and the blush they're so pretty at least the shade that i got so it's like a soft peachy just really light nothing nothing over this world just a little flush in the cheeks is what i'm aiming for and this is what i get with this with this product i need to put on my glasses because i am not blind but i'm like almost there so i have to see and they're both equal and it's really subtle it's not too much great perfect and I was thinking of applying highlighter but honestly with these glasses I don't know if you'll be able to see anything but I'm gonna go and apply a little bit of highlighter and this time I will be using the rare beauty one I already have it packed in my makeup bag that I'm taking on my trip and I'm only gonna apply like a little bit I'm going here blindly because I don't know where I'm putting it. I mean, I know where I'm putting it, but I don't know how much I'm putting it. Let me do it with my finger. Gotta close my eyes and try to feel where I am applying it. I know I should wear my contacts more, but I work. My eyes get so tired from the computer and from all those numbers and concentrating and all that. Like, they get really, really tired. Oh, by the way, I've been using... I've used it once, I'll be honest. Those If you see my, my previous vlogs, I got these little like gel masks for my eyes I only use it once um, I have to be using more but I always forget to put the things in the freezer but when I go to bed I'm like too tired to get up which is bad I should I should do it I have to make myself do it tonight I promise because it really it, it's really nice it feels really comfortable and it really does relax me and only with one use I really enjoyed it I have some texture this morning so I don't want to put a lot a little bit of texture and then the the sunscreen is it's a tinted sunscreen it's not full coverage so it doesn't really cover my red spots completely which is fine i criticize and i just i love this tinted sunscreen uh, but i think it's fine i think it's perfect it's a gorgeous highlight for eyes i said i was gonna try a new mascara the one from lawless which i realized that i already had one and they're both brand new so what i'm gonna do is um, it didn't come in a box. It came like this, right? So I'm gonna put one aside for one of you guys uh, for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which is coming real soon. I'm gonna do it next month in January because since in December I had 12 days of giveaways. I wanna, you know, give it time, and then towards January, towards the middle of January maybe, or the big. I'm not sure when, but in January for sure I'm gonna announce my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So that's one of the things I'll be giving away. I have a, a bunch of things that I'm giving out. So this mascara is, I'm not going to wear any eyeshadow today. This is a Lawless, the one and done mascara in the shade Nightlife. It is made in Italy and it's six months shelf life, 40 fluid ounce, 12 milliliters. 0.40, sorry. I was like, wow, 0.40 fluid ounce. And I like the packaging. I like that it's, it's thick, but not too thick, that it's uncomfortable to store. And let's look at the applicator. Okay, it's one of those long ones and they're like plastic which I like more like the the one with the bristles but this is fine so let's go with the left eye first which is my best eye and when I'm referring to lashes it's like my best looking lashes I don't know what's the difference maybe it's the 
the angle of the way that I apply mascara. I don't know. But they always come out nicer on my left eye. So let's test the left. Give it a fair shot. I like it so far because it really separates my lashes. It gives me volume. It gives me a little bit of a length. But it doesn't look like super, super like fake. <laughs> like it doesn't look fake. It looks like fake lashes. It looks like my own lashes. Which are my own lashes. But you know what I mean, right? It looks really, really nice, really subtle. Let's do the other eye. And I'm going to go back for seconds and see how it looks. I know um, most people like to wear lashes. And that's fine. 100% fine with that. I don't like to do it myself. But I do agree that when especially when you're doing videos or like you're in a red carpet or like your wedding day when you're taking a lot of pictures wearing lashes is is really nice it does change the look it makes you look better prettier your eyes pop out more and it's and it's true but for me personally I don't like to wear la lashes so I like a mascara that gives me length and volume and all that but without looking like falsies that's one coat I'm gonna go back for seconds Hopefully it won't clump, but it's a nice way, it's a good way to test it. I am going to be wearing it all day, but I won't be back to check in and say and tell you guys if it's good or not because I'm going to... I filmed ahead, but this video right now, particularly that I'm filming, I'm going to edit it right now, like today, and then post it the same day because I was just waiting for this box and I wanted to show it today. So I won't be checking in to show you guys how my eyes look, but I will leave a pinned comment and let you guys know what I think but you're gonna have to come back like tomorrow and you'll see in the pinned comments I'll let you guys know how I feel about this mascara because I pre-filmed tomorrow and the day after but not today it's because I wanted particularly to show this box today anyways it looks really pretty I like it very nice let's put on my eyes the last thing I want to put on is some lipstick I did not pick any lipstick I've been using lately a lot this one from Chanel, the one, the 722, the lip gloss. This is called Noche Moscada, I think, but I cannot find this shade anywhere. So I'm going to wear another one today. It's a beautiful color. It's just sad that you probably find it like at Amazon or something, but I don't buy any makeup from Amazon. I don't know if this one is still available. From Natasha Denona, it's like a peachy color. I think it's going to go well. Today gives me a pop of color, but very light. Ugh. If I find it, I'll link it down below. Mmm, it smells good. I haven't used it in a while. I haven't posted the second part of my lipstick declutter. Well, I haven't filmed it yet, but I will film it very soon. I will include it in this box number. Don't you guys worry. I will do it very, very soon. I think it's cute. It's what I wanted. Just a little bit of color. This video is going to be longer than I thought. But you know how that that phrase goes that when your time flies when you're having fun and that's what happens like sometimes i sit down and i want to do a short video and all of a sudden i'm doing a 20 minute 25 minute video <laughs> anyways what i wanted to show you guys today is really special to me i don't talk much about fashion or um, handbags or jewelry or things like that because i'm mostly like makeup and and skincare today i'm gonna be talking about something different i do have like a whole cabinet of of jewelry and stuff but most of it is things that i've been collecting through the years it's mostly they're not um how would you say they're not luxury luxurious um very luxurious jewelry but i decided that i wanted something like for myself not too fancy not too luxurious but something that i would wear every day and there was a piece that i wanted that sold out immediately so I have to wait till it comes back but there's another set that I really love and I'm gonna take it on my trip and there's something else that I could use every day so let me show you first what it is you probably heard of this brand before I have the box here I opened it but I haven't um, I haven't looked in the pieces because I wanted to open the box with you guys and show you first how beautiful the box inside it's so pretty i was expecting just a plain cardboard box but inside it is so so pretty it's beautiful and the brand that i ordered from was is alexis bitar they're based in new york so i was really excited to try this and everything's wrapped in this really cute bundle and i got so scared yesterday little story i got so scared yesterday because it was supposed to be delivered Today's Tuesday, right? So it was supposed to be delivered on Friday. 
but then our office was closed Friday because of the lunch. Remember the lunch? Have you seen my vlogs? You saw we were out, so the driver came, the UPS driver came, and we were in there, so he didn't leave the package. And I got a message that it was going to be delivered on the next business day, which was yesterday, Monday. So that's fine. But then I get a message on Monday saying it was delivered and signed by the receptionist, but she wasn't even there when the package came. So I was like, what happened? Either the guy signed the package as delivered and put her name on it, or, I mean, I never doubted her. I never doubted that she would take it. But I was like, this is really weird. If I had this delay and I had to wait again another week or two, I'm not going to have it for my trip. And I won't have it for Vox Thunberg because I wanted to show it to you guys. And I was so sad. And then 10 minutes later, the package came. I guess like I signed the off before. Anyways, that's a little story. <laughs> this is the package. This is the sticker. A sticker. So cute. I love the little details. It's not just throwing stuff inside a box it's all the details count to me at least what are they called i think they're called gloves or sleeves or something and there's only two oh maybe they're together because i ordered a pair of earrings and two rings so maybe the earrings that are similar or the same style are together look how beautiful this is i mean i think it's beautiful it's just worth like when you get and it's not expensive really it's it's really an affordable price i think it's normal it's really good for what it is but it's just just worth it too because all the packaging i think is so beautiful it makes a beautiful gift unfortunately one of the items is sold out but i will link down below the ones that are in and even in general like anything there's so many beautiful pieces there are so many it was very hard for me to pick so yeah that said that there are some of the art together so let me show you i'm gonna try them on but i'm not gonna wear them today because they don't really match the what i'm wearing so I still have to go back and get like my everyday earrings. But that'll be next time. Alright, I'll show you the earrings first because they all come like little wrapped in little bubble wraps. Oh my god, this is so I might wear it today actually. Actually, I could have wear this every day. They're not too big, they're not too small. It says Alexis Bitar in the back. And I'm gonna read the description after I show you guys. Look how gorgeous that is. Let me see if I could do it better. I don't wanna drop it. There you go. Oh my god, it is so pretty. Look at those crystals. And then the back. It's a heart. So pretty. I'm going to try them on and read the description as I... I think these are still available. I think the ring is what... It, oh, no, the earrings are sold out. I can't even read the description anymore. They're sold out. But when I come back, I will let you guys know. These are so pretty. They're called the Sol Solanales. I'm reading it in Spanish, but I don't know if it's Solanales or Solanales. Crystal heart stud earrings in champagne. The shipping was, it took a little bit, a while to get here. Not just because of the delay, but in general. Oh, how pretty. I'm going to try them on. I'm going to wear them today. And I got them, they have a 20% off and until today, I think it's a sale. So I don't know. Is it till today? I think the sale is up to today, 20% off in the whole website. So I might go back. I'm not sure if I'll go back yet, but now that I know how beautiful they are, I might go back. It's so pretty. I think you can see this one better because of the lighting. It is so pretty. It's not too big. It's not too small. Because I don't like... I'm weird. Like even Remember that in lipsticks, I go to the extremes. Like really nude or really dark orange reds. With earrings, I'm the same. I like either small ones or like big ones. I don't go in the middle. So I think these are perfect. And then of course I bought a ring that maybe is not of the same family. But for me they look so much alike that I had to order. It's a crystal encrusted orbiting band ring. Mine is in the size 8 for reference. Hopefully it fits. I was going to order 9 because I wanted to wear it in the middle finger. But the other thing, the other ring I ordered is, is 9. This one you can still find it. Let me show you first what it looks like. Look at how pretty. It's orbiting rings of pav or pave with gum metal and 14 14k gold plating con connect. The design pays as much attention to negative space as the sculpture shape of the ring. Crystal accent, 14 14 karat gold tone plated brass and ruthenium tone plated brass. So I'm going to write on my right hand and I'm going to twist it around because I put it in wrong. There we go. It fits. It's, it's just right. It's snug. 
look at that how gorgeous could i wear this like every day it's a little bit fancy for every day i'll wear it today just because of i'm wearing the earrings look how beautiful that ring is have it and then the other ring i know that it was available they have one one available left in this size at least in this size the other ring or piece that i, I ordered it's also in a beautiful bag it's like leathery it is a lucite i'm pronouncing it right i hope lucite black ring in silver this was the of the three pieces the most affordable but it was the first one that i put it into the the package um mine is in size nine if i'm not mistaken because i want it to be a little bit bigger and they still have available and this is what it looks like i thought it was gonna be like silver but i i think it's beautiful it's so pretty so different it's designed in 1992. The simplicity and form and shape of this ring is one of the best examples of Alexis Bitar's signature lucite. I remember they have it in different colors too. The ring enables the true luminosity of our hand carved and hand painted lucite to shine. The wearer is constantly enamored by the way the ring catches the light and color. Lucite hand carved and hand painted in Brooklyn, New York. If between sizes, size up. I'm just trying to see if it bothers me when I close my hands because it is thicker, but it doesn't bother me at all. And I think it looks really pretty. Okay, look, it fits here perfectly too. I think I'm going to wear it there. I think it's better actually because it doesn't, um, it is thicker so it doesn't like bother my ring finger. But then my, my finger is getting red too. It's just because it's not flexible. So let me see on my other finger. On my ring hand. It fits perfect. But I don't want to wear it on my ring hands because that's where I wear my wedding my wedding ring. So let me see if I twist it around. Yeah, it's still the same. I think the problem is like these two right here. I don't know. It feels like those are really tiny me. The ones are in the negative space. If I put it like towards the middle, it's fine. That really sucks because I really was really, I was really like in looking into it. But I'm going to try them on in the afternoon and I'll let you guys know because my, like I said, my uh, my hands are swollen more in the morning. And this one I could wear on my index finger. All right. That was my purchase. My special purchase that I wanted to share with you. The earrings are really pretty, are really cute. So I'm keeping those for sure. The other ones I'm going to give it a try and if they don't fit, then I'll return them. If they don't have any more sizes, then... I'll order something else, but I think they're still beautiful. The fact that they don't fit me does not deter that they are beautiful, be beautiful pieces. And I think they do fit me because that's my size. It's just that my hands, I I've said them a million times, but my hands do get swollen in the morning. So I'm going to keep my earrings on and go on to work. I have to edit this video real quick so I could put it up for you guys. It's going to be a little bit later than normal, but that's all right. So this is my video for today. This is my vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow I'm planning, tomorrow is the first day of winter, 21st of December. So I have a really beautiful winter look that I created just for tomorrow. I have a few things I want to share with you before the year ends. I have my favorites from 2022, my least favorites from 2022 that I want to share that with you. And a couple of other things before the year ends, plus my trip, I do want to vlog it and share it with you. So by the time you see the trip video, uh, I probably will be back, but still, you'll. Uh, I love to share that with you guys. So this is all for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog summer. Bye.